Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, I am starting a new series for the subject Principles of Communication System. Some students requested me to start this series. So let us start this series. Actually, the first unit in this subject is signals and spectra. Many points, rather 90% points are common with the subject signals and systems for which I have already created few videos. So I will provide the link in the description box. Those points are common for both the subjects, especially there is one point which is uh, standard or test signals. It is also common with control system. So it is common for the three subjects. Now, the points which I have covered in the subject signals and systems, it is comparison between power and energy signal because it is not expected in signals and systems, but the, it is quite expected in this subject. So let us discuss this comparison. Before that, I'm requesting you to watch all these videos which are related to this unit number one of PCS, that is principles of communication system. So let us discuss this comparison. First is power signal and this part is for energy signal. Before this, I will tell you a simple example. Unit of power signal is watt, whereas unit of energy signal is joules. Just remember two common examples. Bulb is an example of power, power signal because we say like this, the wattage of bulb is 100 watt or 50 watt. So we use the word wattage. So it is a power signal. And we know that ideally bulb should work for infinity time period, ideally. Another example, if we talk about the mobile battery, then if you see the ratings of battery, it is in terms of joules and joules is the unit of energy. But we know that we have to charge the mobile after a certain time period. So the major point is power signals are ideally existing for infinity time period, whereas energy signals are not existing for infinity time period that means energy signals are present only for limited time period now let us dis discuss this comparison first part is definition of power signal if normalized average power this word avj means average the, if normalized average power what's the meaning of word normalized normalized means taking magnitude of the signal so if you take mod of something say mod of minus 3 watt it is normalization so if normalized average power of signal is non zero and finite then it is power signal very simple you have to take magnitude and you have to calculate the average of uh, that particular value if that the answer is non-zero, it should not be zero and it should be finite. It should not be zero and it should not be infinity. That means it is non-zero and finite, then it is a power signal. Same way, definition of energy signal, just make few changes. Here, I have used the word in this definition, I have used the word power. Instead of this, use the word energy. That's it. The definition remains same. If normalized average energy of signal is non-zero and finite, then it is energy signal. So very simple to remember in place of word power, you will have to use the word energy. The second difference is all periodic signals are power signals. In the video of signals and systems, I have told you the simplest clue. Remember it like this, P for periodic and so it is P for power. So all periodic signals are power signals. So naturally, if signal is non-periodic, it is energy signal. That means all non-periodic signals are energy signals. The third part is power signals exist for infinity time period. Ideally, just consider, keep in mind the example of a bulb tube light, which exists for infinity time period. Whereas energy signals exist for time, finite time period. Do remember the example of a mobile battery. Next, fourth difference is energy of power signal is in, uh, infinite. We are talking about power signals in this column. So if you have one power signal and if you calculate its energy, then it should be infinity. Same way, you are talking about energy signal and if you will calculate power of that signal, which is already an energy signal, if you calculate power, then power of energy signal is infinity. Example. A common example of power signal is a cosine wave or sine wave. I have written just one example. So it is A cos omega t. 
and another example uh, example of energy signals is e raised to minus at u of t which is an exponential signal rather exponentially decreasing signal which is energy signal once again i will remind you watch all those videos which i have created for signals and systems and which is common for both the subjects this uh, uh, is exponential signal so all such standard signals are also covered in those videos N now let us move to the part which is not common and especially which is required for this subject that is principles of communication system the next part is spectral density functions now uh, this part as well as all the remaining parts are altogether different they are not in the subject signals and systems uh, before starting this I will tell you one simple trick. If signal is x of t and if you take its Fourier transform, then it is denoted by capital X of F. Do remember, whenever any signal is with respect to t, this is known as time domain. The meaning of word domain is region. So all the signals, what we draw, what we use normally in our daily life, is in are in time domain notation is t same way if you transfer the domain i mean this is time domain if you take fourier transform that means you are converting the signals into frequency domain so corresponding notation is f and whenever domain is changed notation becomes capital this is applicable in all subjects throughout the engineering so whenever you will see you will come across the capital notation it indicates that domain has been changed f indicates it is the frequency domain that means uh, the reference we are taking is the reference of frequency in this case reference we are taking is the reference of time period another thing uh, there is one term which is related to bandwidth what's the meaning of bandwidth bandwidth is basically range of frequencies for example right now i am talking this is a speech signal the frequency range of speech signal is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz so this is known as the bandwidth of the signal now the question expected to this part is uh, define spectral density function and define ESD and PSD that is energy spectral density and power spectral density first we will discuss this definition of spectral density function one more thing this is the notation in Fourier domain or it, it represents Fourier transformation what's the meaning of word spectral if you have any graph in the frequency domain in the Fourier transformation then one term of that graph for example if you have a graph of discrete signal like this it is graph of x of n versus n here we are writing some scales and randomly i am drawing one diagram suppose this is the graph we know that it is the graph of discrete signal this one pulse represents one count of the discrete signal likewise it is it is known as one part of the discrete signal likewise if you take Fourier transform of some signal one part of that is representing the portion of the bandwidth or in another language it is known as the spectra so spectra is similar to the word frequency only it represents one particular part one particular portion of the total diagram okay first we will discuss the definition of spectral density function the distribution of energy or power over a bandwidth which is function of frequency is spectral density of the signal. I already explained the concept of bandwidth. So if it represents either distribution of energy or distribution of power for entire bandwidth, bandwidth is let us say from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and that should be the function of frequency then it is known as the spectral density function. Now there are two types of spectral density functions first type of spectral density function is known as energy spectral density energy spectral density ESD another type is known as power spectral density that is PSD first we will talk about ESD that is energy spectral density if you want to write the definition of ESD make the thing simple I have written the generalized definition if in the exam definition of ESD is asked then make a slight change 
what we have written distribution of energy or power skip power distribution of energy over a bandwidth remaining all the things are same is known as energy spectral density notation of energy spectral density is a psi of f do remember everything now onwards we will be uh, calculating with respect to frequency so inside the bracket i have written f and basic notation is psi this notation is known as psi which represents esd energy spectral density now there is one important uh, uh, property of esd that is energy of a signal is related to esd by this equation do remember this formula it is most important i will first write the formula okay what it indicates e is energy this function mod of x of f square is what if you have a signal x of t if you take its fourier transform it is denoted by x of m mod of x of f is known as amplitude or magnitude of uh, its fourier transform so it represents mod and its square it is read like this amplitude squared frequency response do remember this one why frequency response notation is f now why magnitude because why amplitude because we are taking magnitude and square so it is amplitude or magnitude squared frequency response so if you integrate this term uh, squared magnitude response squared magnitude response then answer will be equals to energy of this signal basically integration means addition of all the signals now this term inside the integration is known as is denoted by psi of f which is known as the energy spectral density so simply psi of f is equals to mod of x of f bracket square that means the magnitude squared frequency response is known as psi of f that is energy spectral density now let us talk about power spectral density the next part is power spectral density if the question is define psd that is define power spectral density then i have i have kept the old definition as it is this was the original definition of spectral density just make the changes the distribution of skip this word energy the distribution of power over a bandwidth which is function of frequency is known as power spectral density simple i have just changed the wording this is the definition of psd that is power spectral density now psd that is power spectral density is denoted by the notation s of f s of f which represents psd now another expected question is prove that area under phd curve is average power of the signal before this proof this proof is simple don't skip it uh before this i will write the formula to calculate average power of a signal which you know it is the part of subject signals and systems here we just need this formula so it is 1 by t0 square summation n minus infinity to plus infinity mod of capital x of n f0 bracket square do remember this is related to discrete signal so i am taking summation remember it like this if signal is continuous you have to perform integration if signal is discrete you have to perform summation summation mod of x of n f0 square this is the formula to calculate the power of a discrete signal now let us prove this statement area under phd curve is average power of a signal this is the equation of power we, we will start from the equation of power now in this case this term x of n f0 this term capital x indicates the domain has been changed now we are working in fourier transform n is the is the index which is used to represent the particular number of a sample f0 is the frequency rather fundamental frequency so this term if you take magnitude it is referred as mod or amplitude and square so it is amplitude squared frequency response and we are taking summation and then it is divided by t0 so whenever you will divide it by t0 square it represents uh, the averaging so this is the formula for dt signal to calculate the power if the signal is periodic then 
you need to write, I mean, this derivation starts with this formula. If signal is periodic, the next formula can be written like this. Summation n minus infinity to plus infinity mod of x of n f0 square into delta of f minus n f0. Dear students, please watch the video related to standard signal. This is one of the standard signals I have already uh, repeated. Uh, these standard signals are required for three subjects. So presently, uh, I'm using this delta function. I will explain what is this in this subject. So if it is a delta function, diagram is like this. Here on this axis, I'm writing f or f0 because it is with respect to frequency. You need to draw one pulse. It is present only at f is equals to zero. Its amplitude is assumed to be one. So it is represented by one single pulse. This is known as the signal delta F. The term F minus NF0, minus sign is there. So it indicates it is shifted or delayed unit impulse. So if I want to draw the new diagram for delta F minus NF0, then original signal was at F is, is equals to zero. Now this signal will be at NF0. So instead of zero, this signal will be at NF0, same pulse I will get at NF0. So this is the formula. Just remember this formula. If signal is periodic, multiply it with this function. This is known as the shifted, delayed, uh, shifted or delayed unit impulse. And F represents it is in frequency domain. Now we have to take averaging of this. Averaging means take uh, integration. So take integration on both sides. So integrate this equation so new equation will be integration minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by t0 summation n minus infinity to plus infinity mod of x of nf0 bracket square into delta f minus nf0 you might be thinking this is a complicated equation it is not at all you just have to remember few basic things you can well derive this expression it's very simple now uh, we haven't yet studied the properties of delta function. It is in the subject signals and systems. We'll be studying it later because it's, it's in unit number two. Presently, just remember one property. If the signal is like this, since value of delta function is one, if you integrate it, I mean this integration sign and this delta function, its value becomes one it is known as the shifting property of delta function. We'll be proving it later. Presently for this proof, you can directly write in the exam using shifting property of delta function, this integration and this term becomes one. So simply we'll be left with the term P is equals to one by T zero summation N minus infinity to plus infinity mod of X of n f 0 square now look at compare this with the original equation this is the equation of the power which is same as the equation of power so what it indicates area under phd curve why area under phd curve because taking integration we took the integration integration represents area under phd curve so area under phd curve gives the value of average power so this is the proof of this question even you might feel it is complicated it is not at all complicated just remember the basic things so dear students that's it for today's session i will be continuing this series for the subject principles of communication system so i have covered few basic things in the uh, first lecture of this subject pcs so thank you thanks a lot